Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Skye and I'm so excited that you're here for this video today. So we're gonna be chatting all things oven cleaner, easy off technique, things that I wish I had known going into this project, why our experience was a total flop and what we ended up doing. And then at the end, you're gonna to get to see some decorating ideas in our dining room. I did a quick little dining room makeover. I suppose you could call it a refresh, but really changed out basically all of the furniture in this room, switched some things up on the wall as you can see behind me now. So hopefully this one is just an inspiring and um, informational video for you. Now, before I jump right in, I wanna take just two moments to talk about our house and home closing sale. So for those of you who maybe are new or didn't see our last video, Video. We are actually going to be closing our online interior decor shop called House and Home that we have had for three years. Um, we actually shared a video, uh, the last one in my queue, uh, about this process in coming to this decision and why we're closing our shop and uh, just all of that. So if you haven't seen that yet, it's a really quick, short, to the point video and it's totally worth a watch. With all of that being said, we are uh, selling everything so all of the inventory from our warehouse is now 35% off so you can check us out at houseandhome.com I'll have it linked down in my video description but basically everything on the site is 35% off through the month of July and there's no code needed your discount is gonna apply automatically um, at the checkout so with that I do want to just share a couple things. I'm so thankful. We are so thankful as a family for your support as you um, choose to shop with us here as we are trying to clear out all of our inventory. It is such a huge help and we feel so blessed and so grateful. And wow, you guys showed up more than we could have ever imagined. So um, we have received hundreds and hundreds of orders. It's basically like our Christmas season as far as the volume of orders we've received, but unfortunately it didn't make sense to go ahead and hire a whole new staff to help us package and fulfill these orders when we're just gonna be closing very soon. So it is currently Sarah, myself, and every once in a while we can steal Chad away from um, things that he's got going on full time and and uh, is, is able to help us out just a little bit. So we are working as quickly and as carefully as we possibly can. Um, unfortunately, it takes some time to package these orders carefully. Almost every order requires a lot of bubble wrap and packing paper, and um, it's kind of like a game of Tetris just to get everything to fit just so, so that hopefully we don't have any damages in transit. Obviously, sometimes you just can't avoid those. So we're doing our very best. We're working as quickly and around the clock as our schedules allow. We are parents. Uh, obviously, we have kids. Sarah has a sweet boy, and so um, we're just doing our best. So due to the volume of orders, shipping times have been increased. So you'll notice that it's probably going to take an average of seven business days from the time you place your order to the time that your order is shipped out. Could you guys do me a huge favor? If you are within that seven business day window, could you hold off and sending us an email and checking um, the progress of your order? That only slows us down on the back end from being able to fulfill orders. And I promise we are working as quickly as we can because we're so grateful for your support and wanna get your things out to you so fast. So we are trying, I know that this is um, definitely slower than our average uh, fulfillment time. However, with all of these things being explained, hopefully um, you can have an understanding and um, be patient with us. And then of course, if for some reason we're past that seven business days and your order hasn't hasn't shipped out yet, feel free to check in with us. Um, but just know that we're working on them. I promise we're working on them. If you got a confirmation email, we've got your order and we're getting it out as quickly as possible. Okay, friends, that is all as far as house and home goes. Let's jump right in to the easy off oven cleaner technique and um, just check out this portion of the video. So the first bit of footage that I'm going to share with y'all is right after we got this new table for the dining room. 
Now this table is one that only seats four comfortably. Yes, we have five people in our family. Um, we actually, with having young kids, we don't sit in our formal dining room very often at all. Um, this is more of a place where sometimes we'll sit down to work, we'll sit down to have a conversation, maybe put a puzzle together or something like that, play a game. But this is not like our main eating area. We have a whole nother kitchen table and four bar stools at a countertop. So plenty of seating in the other areas of our home. So what we noticed when I had initially put this room together was that um, we filled it with furniture. We thought, you know, we're not going to be really spending a bunch of time in here. Let's deck it out and just make it like a formal dining room and um, just go ahead and add the pieces that I wanted to. Well, sometimes that isn't always practical and there is a fly going around. Sorry if you saw him. Um, that isn't always practical. So we lived like that for, I don't know, six months or so and realized that this actually is a high traffic room. We go from the entryway of our home through the dining room often to get to the kitchen and with our piano and a huge dining table and we had some sideboards along this wall it just didn't make sense it felt so crowded so i sold everything except for the piano we decided to move that into our living room and I'm so glad we did. We are so happy with the turnout, even though it isn't exactly what we had initially planned. I was thinking I'd have a beautiful, like light colored pine table. That's not where we're at. Um, but yeah, let's jump in. And I'm gonna share all about the table, um, just some quick, easy, tips that we learned along the way and hopefully will help you out if you are planning to try the oven cleaner technique. Now, let me just go ahead and preface by saying I would totally, totally, totally try this technique on a different type of furniture and let me tell you why here coming up. All right, so here is the table. It is a pine table. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for a couple hundred dollars and um, it's beautiful. It's from Pottery Barn. It had a really uh, thick kind of like a varnish on top to protect it. It was very smooth and I just love the character. I love the turned legs. I love that you could see um, just the knots in the wood and was really excited about the idea of finally trying the easy off technique. Now, I will say before we started this project, I did do a little bit of my own research and found that if you are going to be using a piece that had some sort of a um, seal on top of it that you wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of sanding just to help um, the easy off like adhere and strip properly. Now, what we learned was that if and when, let's be honest, when I do this again, I will pick an antique piece of furniture, something that's really old, that does not have a slick finish on it, um, because we worked on this table for weeks, I'm telling y'all. We ended up getting the heavy duty can of Easy Off Cleaner. Um, I had read that it was more potent. Um, you definitely wanna use it outside. However, it works a lot more effectively than the um, one that is, I believe, fume free. So we did five different cycles of sanding, spraying with, a whole can of easy off letting it sit we saw a lot of recommended times anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour friends i'm not even kidding one day we just did overnight we let it sit overnight and still could not get this table to strip completely so we um, once the easy off had sat then we um, used the power washer and sprayed it down let it dry completely, start it over, sanding, easy off, spraying it down with a power washer, letting it dry, repeat. No luck. Five rounds of that. So then we thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and just bleach the table because that should still give us that kind of um, natural wood look that we were going for didn't work. <laughs> I looked up multiple uh, websites, blogs, 
all the things and had no luck. At this point in the process, you can see that we had bleached it, we let it sit, and Chad was rinsing it off. I had at this point found out that my grandma had passed away. We took an unexpected two-week trip to Illinois. Then we got COVID and Chad and I were very sick for about 12 to 14 days. And at that point, we decided to paint it. So <laughs> what we learned was that if you're going to use a piece of furniture with this easy off technique, you want to have something that is... Um, not coated with a poly. If you want this to be like a fairly simple, what you kind of see out there um, technique. And this shot that you're seeing right here is just kind of the final view of the table before we decided to paint. All right, so now I am just going to kind of show you guys the process of um, creating a little gallery wall. I took my big antique, uh, beautiful brass mirror down, was ready for a change up in this space and just did a quick little gallery wall with frames that I had purchased from Target and prints that I bought online from Heirloom Print Shop. I'll link them down below. They are one of my absolute favorite print shops. I just love all of the different landscape prints. They've got portraits and all kinds of just beautiful um, prints available over on their website. scoured Facebook marketplace for almost a month looking for just the right chairs for this space and just could not find four matching chairs. I really just wanted an upholstered kind of like wing back chair. We didn't get quite that tall with the back but was really happy to find these on sale at Target for an affordable price. I ended up not spending any more money on this Base than what I had sold the previous furniture for so it was kind of like a wash and um, I was able to get the look that I desired and as you can tell this space is now just very opened up it is so simple to uh, just take that path from the entryway into the kitchen um, we're not crowded especially if you pull out a chair you're not worried you're going to bump into the wall or the furniture um, and very soon i'll share our piano that ended up in the living room it actually uh, is just the perfect spot for it it gets played so much more by our kiddos they aren't taking lessons yet but it's really sweet to hear what they come up with and um, yeah so everything just worked out sometimes you just need to do a little bit of painting and a little bit of rearranging it really can make such a difference Alright friends, that wraps up 
love this video. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. Don't forget to check out our house and home sale, 35% off the entire site, no code needed, and it ends at the end of July. I am so thankful for each one of you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.